person in this frame will be in the eye of the storm. But he's going to send us out as his servants, as his messengers, to do his will. But just in this time of shaking, to know you're in the eye of the storm. And no matter what happens around you, you're in Goshen. And the Lord is going to shine his glory down upon each and every one of you and your loved ones. And some of your loved ones will wander out in the storm. And I just declare right now that you will not be fearful, but you will speak life over them and know that the Lord has Mm -hmm. got them. That his hand is upon their life. And sometimes our loved ones need to be shaken a little bit so that they run to Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes that's what God has to do and he's preserving them. He's got them. But sometimes we find Jesus when he drives us to our knees. And I think some of these times he has to break our loved ones so that he can build them back up again in his image. And just to encourage everyone here, as times seem to get dark around you, know that his glory is in your home with you. It's upon you. It's wherever you go. His safety is with you. And I just have a picture of angel armies. And just to know that the Lord has got his angels with each and every one of you. He's assigned them to you. I just have the sense that some of them have been with you since birth. That they are just there at your side. And when you feel, Jesus, I need you to fight for me, just release that angel to do do his work around you in Jesus Christ's name. And there is a level of protection there and authority that's not only, it's like an interceding. The Father interceding for you, but also releasing that angel to do his work. Because there is a demonic force that's getting ready to be released upon this earth. But there's also glory. And there's also a lot of learning the Lord is going to impart. And he's going to show each and every one of you that you have authority in his name. Unlike anything you would have ever thought possible. He is going to pour out his glory on you. I just see you guys laying hands on the sick and seeing them healed, speaking words of life over people, and all of a sudden they're just going to start praying in the Spirit. And the glory is just going to come down. There's going to be a baptism of the Holy Spirit on people around you because you carry his glory and his Spirit so strongly upon you, each and every one of you, that where you go, you bring it with you. And so I just encourage each and every one of you in this room that no matter what the world looks like to know that you've got Jesus inside of you, that his glory is around you, that he's got your loved ones, that he's making them new, he's making all things new. And in this time of shaking, and I just have a sense it's imminent, the Lord is going to make all things new. And I just speak that over each and every one of your spirits, that there will be a newness, there will be a newness, a, a transfer if all these evil people, what they have taken and tainted, the Lord is going to cleanse and give back to us. There's um, a wealth transfer, is what I'm hearing. And it's going to look different in different ways. But he's going to do something not only spiritually, but financially for each and every one of you. So hang in there. Know that he's got you not only spiritually, but he's got provisions for you materially. He will meet your every need. Amen. 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 Amen.